All right, friends, welcome back to the sawmill. It's Saturday, and the first order of business this morning is hook up the dump trailer and take it up to the landfill because it is full of trash. I got some metal in there. I think I got a, what is that? I think that's our patio table. The wife said the glass broke the other day. She must have threw that in there. So we got a patio table. We got some old chairs, some fencing, some metal some saw blades, all kinds of junk. So as you guys can see, it's pretty full. I need to get that emptied out today because next week, I think maybe Monday or Tuesday, I may be going to get some maple logs. And we can't haul no logs, guys, if it's full of trash. Let me get this stuff out of here today. So here's some free advice, friends. Never leave logs laying in front of your trailers. I have no idea why I've done this. This is an eight foot red oak. I need to take this up to the sawmill and get it out of the way. I've also got a few more blades to take with me and get rid of those. And if you're wondering why I don't do scrap metal, it's not worth the hassle when you just have a few sawmill blades and some scrap metal laying around. If I had like 10 tons of scrap metal, I'd probably take it to the recycle place and get a little bit of money. But I probably don't have maybe a hundred pounds. That might get you, what, three or $4 maybe? It ain't worth it. Well, we're back from the landfill and hopefully we won't have a flat tire. I did notice though, when I was opening up the doors on this dump trailer, man, they were loud. They need some grease. For any of you young guys out there trying to get your tool kit together for your equipment and just overall having your own tools so you can do work at home. This grease gun right here is a great investment. You'll never regret buying it. I use it all the time. I can't remember the last time I've done this. And judging by how much grease is going in it, I'd say it's been a long time. 
Let me share a little future project with you guys. Right here is where the dump trailer is parked. The iron bull is right beside it, but that's not gonna be permanent. I'm not sure where I'm gonna park this thing yet, but it's in the way right there. But for right now, that's where it goes. I've got to figure something out later on that. But the dump trailer fits really nicely right here, but it's a little bit of a slope. It's running downhill toward this old fence. So that's something else I need to do is rebuild this fence right here. It's a mess. But one thing at a time. So hopefully here in the next two weeks, I'll have some shale brought in here to build this up and bring it up to grade with the little gravel driveway right here. and be a nice flat spot to park the dump trailer. But for now, since the trailer's not there, and before I bring it back over here, let's mow underneath it. That grass right there is pretty high. It looks bad. All right, friends, this is Red Oak, and this log right here has a sweep to it. And this is how you can tell. Right here, you got the two middle bunts right there. Look under that, and the sawmill is, not the sawmill, my goodness, the log is lying directly on the sawmill on both of them. But as you come over here on the end, there's a gap right there. Then over here on the other end, is another gap right there. Definite sweep to it. All right, guys, look over the background noise. My neighbor's mowing the yard, his goats, I think they're out, you can hear them down there hollering, and the guinea hens are right behind the sawmill hollering, and my chickens are free ranging today, so they may wander up here in just a minute, so there's a lot going on here today, guys, a lot going on. Uh, like I was saying, this is red oak. It does have this bow to it I just showed you guys. And whenever I have a log that has a bow to it, what I usually do is I cut off the two horns or the high sides. So I'll cut those two first, then we'll flip it 180 and cut the belly. And then we'll go ahead and square it up after that. And in my experiences, that's the best way when sawing lumber or sawing one by sixes to get the best lumber out of a log with a bow to it. Now, some people will lay the bow on the side and just uh, saw it through and through straight down and leave that crook in it. Then they'll kiln dry it. Then they'll cut those boards in half to straighten them up and sell them as like project pieces. And that right there keeps the grain straighter. So if, if, if this was for a, uh, 
If this red oak was going to go to a cabinet shop or a woodworker, that would be the best way to saw it so the grain was still straight. The way that I'm doing it, you're going to have a lot of end grain and a lot of cathedrals showing up on the ends. But this is going for a barn siding and stuff like that really doesn't matter because it's low grade boards and you sell them as low grade boards as well. So uh, it just depends on what you're sawing. So barn wood for siding, this is good to go right here. If you're gonna do two by fours, gosh, I don't know. I don't know if this will be the best way or not to be honest with you. Maybe better off finding a better log for two by fours that's straighter. This is a low grade log. Several large knots on it, got a cat face right here. It's about 18 inches on the diameter, I think. Let me check again. Yeah, 18 inches. So we should be good to go. And I thought I was done sawing red oak for a while because I was working on an order for a buddy of mine's sawmill and his customer called him yesterday and said, I want 20 more one by sixes added onto my order. So I got to cut 20 more of these. So let's have a little fun with this. Everybody hit pause on the video, go down to the comments and guess how many one by sixes I'll get out of this log. I'm thinking 25, 26, I'm gonna say 26. But leave your best guess below and don't cheat because that ain't gonna get you nowhere. There's no award or nothing like that for the person who gets it right. So uh, I'm thinking 26. I could be totally wrong about that though. I could figure up the board footage and be really exact but there's a lot of swells on the side right here. And since we're taking off the belly and the horns both, that reduces the diameter a lot on a log like this. So maybe 26 is too high. I don't know. I'll keep it there. 26. Okay. So let's get going, guys. And uh, one more thing here. We'll get started. My buddy Killinger is making these suspenders again. And I don't know how long he'll be making them for. And when he gets tired of making them, could be a couple of years before he makes another set of them. So there's a link down below to his website. If you want these suspenders, I wear them. Uh, Buck and Billy Ray, he wears the same ones, I believe. They're pretty nice suspenders. I have three pairs, and this is not sponsored or nothing like that. I bought these off Chris with my own money. But a lot of you guys asked me about these suspenders, and now is your time to buy them. And like I said, guys, you may want to do it now because in the future, who knows when he'll start making them again, if ever. He says there are a lot of people asking about them right now, so he started offering them again on his website. So, link down below. Two more things here, friends, and we'll get started. I always forget stuff. On the sawmill, we got a Joe Main Silver Tip Turbo 7. If you want to try those blades out, call Joe. His cell phone number is down in the video description. And a real big thank you to everybody on Patreon for supporting me here on the channel because you guys are helping me buy all these new cameras that we're trying out here on the channel. And I really appreciate you guys. So uh, thank you all very much. Let's get started.
All right, guys, come over here and let the pressure off the blade. I think I'm done sawing for the day. So, I ended up with exactly 26 one by sixes. That's a pretty good yield right there. I thought I would come up short, but it came out to be exactly 26. Now these two on the top right here, they do have some bark right there on the edge and some people would cancel those out. And I guess you could, if you did, I'd have 24. So uh, if you guessed anywhere between 24 and 26, I'd say you're right. Now I was gonna take this down to my buddy's sawmill on Monday, but it's supposed to rain. So I think we'll get it down there tonight. I just called him, he gets off work at six o'clock. He runs this sawmill as a side business. And I think we'll go ahead and get rid of it tonight and have him unload us down there. Then he can call a customer and have them pick it up maybe tomorrow before the rain starts. Today's Saturday. So maybe tomorrow they can come get their wood before the rain sets in. So we're gonna load this up, get it strapped down and held on down to Hawkins County. You guys hang in there. 